<laughs> hey folks, uh, this lesson is uh, area of regular polygons, and uh, so far we've done uh, rectangles, uh, parallelograms, triangles, and and trapezoids. So here's uh, regular polygons, and so you're thinking, what's a regular polygon? Well, we'll talk about that. So, so here, um, uh, here's our, our common core strand and our question: How can we find the area of a regular polygon? Don't forget. All your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com, and when you go there, you'll get to this. Click this uh, sixth grade link. This is my district, so click this one right here. This is uh, you guys right here. So if you scroll down, it's going to be right underneath the area of trapezoids right there. Okay, let's go ahead and, go ahead and get stored, started here. So the area of a triangle, remember, is one-half base times height, and we're going to use this concept for the area of regular uh, polygon. So a regular polygon is a polygon where all the sides have the same length and all the sides, all the angles have the same measure. So we see these all the time. You know, square is a regular polygon because they're 90, 90, 90, 90, and all the sides are the same right there. So, so all the sides are the same, all the angles are the same. Here we have a equilateral triangle, all the sides are the same length, and all these angles end up being 60 60 60 and you see these every day a stop sign that's an equilateral octagon eight-sided figure all the sides are the same all the angles are the same so that's what we're doing is finding the area of these regular polygons so daniel here has a regular pentagon find the area so all these sides are the same and all these angles are the same so so we can find the area of the regular polygon by dividing uh, the polygon into congruent triangles. Sorry, I forgot to put the T in there. The let's do that right now. Okay, the polygon into into regular uh, congruent triangles. So we're going to do that right here. Okay, so we're going to draw line segments uh, uh, from each of the vertexes, each of the vertices, actually plurals vertices, to the center right there. So we're going to uh, draw a line segment here, draw a line segment here to the center of this. And what happens is it makes it uh, congruent triangles. And there's five congruent triangles when we do that right there. Okay, so now we're going to uh, uh, find the area of one of those triangles. And if we knew the, area, the side and the length of the polygon, and the height of the triangle, we can do that. So, so now I'm going to give you uh, the side right here and this height right here. Okay, so the side and the height are going to be um, uh, the side is 20 and the height is 14. Okay, so 20 and 14. Now we wouldn't know how to do this unless they gave us that. So they have to give us that. Okay, when you get into a geometry class, I, I, I this this has a special name called the apothem. Apothem, apothem, whatever, whatever your math teacher says, A P O T H E M. That's what that is right there, but it's just the height uh, that goes to the center right there, okay? So let's go ahead and find the area of one of the triangles, okay? We'll find the area of this triangle, and then when we find the area, then we know one of them, so that means there's five of them that are congruent. So let's go ahead and do that. So area equals base times height. Let's go ahead and substitute in the base and the height right there. So one half times base, which is 20, and the height, which is 14, okay? So um, uh, 20 times 14, it's easiest. I think if I took half of uh, 20 is 10, and 10 times 14 is gonna give us um, uh, the 140 right there, okay? Okay, so um, uh, now we know that the area of this triangle is 140 centimeters squared. Remember, there's five of them for the whole polygon, so we can find the area of the whole polygon, the regular polygon, by multiplying by the number of triangles uh, that we see, the congruent triangle. So area equals, there's five congruent triangles, and the area of each triangle is 140. So we're going to multiply 140 times seven um, uh, times five. I know 14 times five is 70, and you can just count by five, five, 10, 15, 20, all the way up to using your fingers 14 times, so you get 70. So so 140 is going to be 70 with a zero. So 70, uh, 700 uh, gives us 700 centimeters squared. So that area of uh, his pentagonal shape is 700 uh, centimeters squared. 
All right, so let's find the area of this regular polygon. This looks like, let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six. So what we're going to do is draw line segments from each of the vertices. Since it's regular, we're going to draw a line segment here, 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 and here to make uh, congruent triangles right there. Okay, so now how many congruent triangles do we divide it into? Well, there's six sides, so that means there's going to be six triangles right there. So uh, we're going to find the area of one of those triangles. Remember, area of a triangle is half base times height, so the base is 4.2. The height is, that's, I think that says 3.6. So, yep, so we're going to go ahead and substitute that in. So when we do that, uh, we got to multiply 4.2 times, uh, uh, oh, I know what I did. I did uh, half of 4.2 is 2.1. Okay, I could have done half of this is uh, 1.8. But this is easier, 2.1. So I multiplied 2.1 times this uh, 3.6 right here. Okay, so 6 times 1 is, is 6. We'll carry the, uh, uh, there's no carry, so 6 times 2 is 12, so 126. All right, so we multiply the 3, we carry the 0. Okay, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6, so we get 63. Add those together, we get 756. Remember, we do the decimals at the end when we multiply, so 1, Two, so move it over two places right there, so 7.56 uh, meters squared. So uh, the area of the hexagon, remember this is one of them, so we have to multiply that times 6. So we're going to multiply it times 6, and then when we do that, 6 times 6 is 36, carry the 3. 6 times, six times 5 is 30, plus 3 is 33, carry the 3 again. And then finally, uh, 6 times 7 is 42, 42 plus 3 is 45, and so we move the decimal over uh, two places, so two places, so 45.36 meters squared right there, okay? All right, so the area of the hexagon is 45.36 uh, meters squared. All right, let's answer a couple of questions. How many um, congruent triangles can we divide a regular decagon? Well, decagon has 10 sides, okay? so. So a regular decagon has 10 sides that are the same length, so it can be divided into 10 congruent triangles, okay? So if an irregular polygon, uh, the sides that do not have the same length and angles do not have the same measures, okay, could we divide the area into the area of an irregular polygon using this method? Well, no, we can't do that because we might not be able to first find the center, and if we could sort of find the center, uh, we couldn't get congruent polygons or congruent triangles, so the vertices, so connecting it with the vertices wouldn't make congruent triangles and we couldn't use our formula. All right, you guys, hope that makes sense and take care.